I'm gonna show you how to take your watercolor paints that look like this and make them look like this for fall. It's really easy. All you do is add the complementary color. I'm gonna start by just adding blobs of the color straight from the pan. That's gonna be our reference. Blob. I did the same thing with the orange, the red, and the green straight from the pan. I have made many blobs. I'm gonna take some of that same yellow and I'm gonna add the complement. The complement to yellow is purple. You don't need a lot, just a tiny little bit. New blob. So we have made a much more earthy yellow by adding the complement, which is purple. We'll do the orange the same way. The complement to orange is blue, so I add just a touch. This is one of those things that you just have to practice. You have to get to know your paints to know how they're going to work together. The complement to red is green, and I have to go back a couple times to get it right because it's better to start with not enough and add more. The next one is green, and you're like, but wait a minute, we just did red and green but we did way more red than green to get this. Now we're gonna do way more green and just a little bit of red. I start with a nice big blob of my medium green and I add red just a little bit at a time until I get it the way I want it, which is gonna be a nice earthy green. I decided to make my blobs into trees, so I had a nice little sketchbook page. When I was first learning how to paint, I kept a little piece of paper that had the compliments written on it because my brain wouldn't hold it because my brain is like that. But just remember, Purple and yellow, red and green, blue and orange. The more you experiment with it, the better you will get at color mixing. Practice color mixing and make a cute little sketchbook page. Done.